Our intrepid peloton takes on the 58-mile Madras double loop ride. In the first two miles of the ride, you'll weave your way out of Madras and then do the 0.8-mile, 190-foot climb on Belmont Lane from the Willow Creek floodplain to the Little Agency Plains. This early ride effort is rewarded with some great views along the way. And once at the top, you'll have great views of Mount Jefferson and the Three Sisters. Once on Little Agency Plains, it's a nine mile, very gently rolling, false flat climb south and west through Metolius to the town of Culver. At about mile 11, Culver marks the end of your southbound journey. After Culver, you'll bend west and north for about five miles. In the distance is Round Butte, a feature you'll soon become all too acquainted with. After about 14 and a half miles, you turn right on the Southwest Mountain View Drive. You do not want to miss that turn. And just a mile after that, there's a gravel, unsigned turnoff that leads to this wonderful lookout. Right after the lookout, you'll begin your circumnavigation around Round Butte. There's about five miles of rollers and gentle climbs and descents before you begin one of the toughest climbs of the day. This is the steep, steep climb up the north flank of Round Butte on Southwest Belmont Road. This brute of a climb is short, only a little over a mile, but it's a steep 6% grade with steeper pitches at the start of the climb. At the top though, you'll be rewarded with some stunning views of the Oregon Cascade and a fun, thrill-packed three-mile, 500-foot descent into Dry Canyon. The curves, traffic, and crosswinds can make this descent a little bit on the tricky side. So do keep your wits about you. And after the short crossing of Dry Canyon, you'll have a short one mile, 180 foot climb from the canyon bottom back up to Little Agency Plains. If you're tired, there's a local farm dog more than willing to help motivate you to the top. Shortly after you climb to Little Agency Plains, it's a quick descent back to Madras where you can take a break or press on to loop two. This point marks the end of the 29 mile Madras Scenic Byways Loop. Loop 2 begins by passing under the 105 year old Willow Creek Trestle. This is followed quickly by a steep 1.2 mile 200 foot climb up Willow Creek Canyon to Agency Plains. Once on Agency Plains, it's a flat 14 miles north and slightly west to the northern end of the plains. The only issue you'll have here are headwinds and crosswinds. 
While we did buck some mighty headwinds and crosswinds for the first 10 miles of the stretch, we had a great tailwind pushing us eastward along the northern edge of the plains. At about mile 37, you'll cross US Highway 26. It's pretty obvious why you have to be extremely careful crossing Highway 26. After crossing Highway 26, you've got about seven miles of flats then rollers as you head north and then east to the northernmost point of this loop, this town of Gateway. And shortly after this S curve at about mile 44, you'll drop from Agency Plain down to Gateway, a fast, fun, scenic, curvy 1.7 mile 470 foot drop with some pitches at minus 7%. In Gateway, check out some of the interesting signs on the buildings. The town certainly has a sense of humor. After you leave Gateway, you'll have the last climb of the day. It's a short, steep, 1.7 mile, 360 foot climb. Topping out with some great views of the Cascades. After the climb, it's only seven and a half miles left to go. But it's a bit of a slog. It's a 360 foot false flat ascent with lots of rollers and a ride directly into the sun. This section also involves three crossings of Highway 97, so be on your toes. Yeah, my ways in the Finally, just after the last crossing of Highway 97, you're in town and near the finish at the community park in Madras. Thanks for watching.